Hello, my name is Emily. On Sunday evening, we gathered us well, we gathered around in the premier and dining area. Um, we were learning how to use recorders and how to interview, and everyone was involved. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Smith. So on the Sunday night we got there, I was excited because I was in a completely new place and it was the first time I was in a Premier Inn with a room on my own, on my own, and I felt like an adult. Hello, I'm Jack. We then have our trip when we went around the uh, Norwich Cathedral where we had a look around at all the different stained glass windows, the different pieces of the architecture, learning some of the history and how much of the limestone was ferried from France because Alexander the Great wanted specifically French limestone, even though it's just limestone. So Monday morning, um, we were at the cathedral uh, and we were recording our experiences and uh, and the information that we were learning about the history in the cathedral. Hello, my name is Luke Hanmore. So I think we had a little walk around the city to, to go on our way to the cathedral, which was pretty nice. Um, and we get there and it's absolutely massive. And I sort of got it confused originally because I thought it was the place that they filmed Harry Potter. Like, I, I was, like, so excited. I was, like, I told all my friends, like, oh, that's where they filmed Harry Potter. Unfortunately not. I <laughs> uh, don't know why I thought that, but it was pretty cool. Came out no more about the Cathedral of Norfolk. I think the main thing that, like, stood out to me was that the uh, cathedral burnt down years ago and the colour of the walls had changed over time. Hi, my name is Nadia. So um, the first time we all, you know, went our separate ways and went to the market to do our own thing, I actually, it was actually more of a bonding experience for me and one of the other um, team members, should I say, on the trip, (laughs) because we both got lost together. We were looking for vintage shops (laughs) and it was just looking into the market as well. It was just gorgeous. Like it was so colorful and that's something I really liked about it. Hello, my name is James Callum and I'm from the Erdington Wines here. Uh, we went to Norfolk Castle on Monday afternoon where we had an interactive look at a bunch of items replicated from Viking culture. We got to break down the normal media conception of the Vikings as just a warrior race because there was a very, very enthusiastic tour guide. Hello. My name is Connor. The thing I can remember the most is obviously the weaponry because obviously it's a cool thing. It's one of the biggest things in the Vikings and the biggest thing that you learn that I already know about is, but one thing that people really think is that there was horns on the helmets, which there wasn't. Because that part is a myth. Because it was kind of to make them look more scary, but the Scandinavians don't actually have helmets with the horns. The Vikings, yeah, the Vikings didn't have the horns, but they did have the cool helmets anyway when we went to the viking museum it was really good because we had a tour guide who was really enthusiastic and another team member that was on the trip as well was really into vikings so so one word that i learned whilst i was there is the word skull although i can't remember what it means now but it was a really interesting word and at the time when we heard it we were all saying it a lot until we left and um i learned a lot of interesting facts about the vikings so the monday night we did a ghost walk around norwich town center and this was one of the bigger highlights for me because the guide he felt like he was really into what he was doing he was all dressed in like goth slash plague doctor attire. He had a really cool cut on, which I wanted. Um, and so we walked around and he was detailing historic events while also mixing in the 
ghost stories which had happened in the area and I just thought he was really cool. And then we had a Tuesday, we were just gathering in the hotel, waiting for everyone to come down so we can get ready to make a start on the day and to see what activities we had prepared next. We then ended up in Great Yarmouth at the Museum of Time and Tide, where we met up with some other members of the Great Yarmouth YMCA group. They showed us a couple of their projects that they've been working on that all tied into the history of Great Yarmouth. So they gave us, uh, they, well, they let us take a look. There was also a chap there who did drag makeup, who gave us a little demonstration. And it was mostly about, um, like, stuff to do with fishing and, like, how people lived like that and, like, different types of equipment they had, different type of, like, little houses they would live in or, like, live different boats and different out- outfits too. Um, and then later we found out that it had a lot to do with, like, gay culture. Or like about like like the gay community was very big in that area, um, and that was nice to see. And then I think later on in, in the tour, we got to see some like old submarine um, submarine equipment, and it was very interesting to me because again, that's nothing like that's still very unknown to us. We still don't know much about our own oceans, so to sort of see all of the old equipment is very creepy in a way because it's like oh. They were definitely not protected then. And, like, how did they even have enough courage to, like, do that stuff? Uh, Tuesday lunchtime, we went down to the beach on a sound walk where we just sort of were quiet for a bit, just recording the sounds of the oceans and the seagulls. And it was quite nice. And then we got to go down a bit further towards the sea and we did the task for the day to arrange some of the rocks into some words. Later on we were on the pier. Oh yeah, it was an amusement pier. Amusement. (laughs) It was an amusement pier and a thunderstorm just raged overhead, so we got trapped next to the claw machines. The building itself was like, had glass panes so it's like you could see through the building basically and behind us was like a cathedral sort of thing so I think I think it was obviously the cathedral itself that we'd been to if not it was like another church and it was really like really tall and beautiful but also it was nice and sunny out and there was a rainbow as well so we had the view of like the castle of the cathedral and we had a nice rainbow behind us so it was really cool to see see through the glass uh, Wednesday morning we went to Kings Lynn. It was our group and also a group of school children. We walked around for a bit and then made some bread. It was my first time making bread, but it was really delicious. So Wednesday was the last day and we went around this museum where they had big-ish ballroom-like rooms that had very detailed portraits of historical figures in Norwich history. So that was cool seeing them because you don't see them like as often anymore or not at all. Escape room, oh wow. So that was a really nice get out of jail game and it actually encouraged all of us to work as a team. So I remember... um, my partner actually betrayed me towards the end. <laughs> he took the key and locked me out, <laughs> which was just, it was just really funny. He was just messing around. Overall, I'd say that I gained quite a bit from the experience. I know to just sometimes stay quiet without my headphones and just listen out to what's around me. And that does increase my enjoyment of even the city centre in Birmingham sometimes. Um, that there's still a lot of history that I don't know about and there's always something out there new to learn about like the country I come from and most of it like is the Midlands is from where I'm from so it's learning about parts of like the it's not the it's not the county area but it's like because obviously the Midlands is Leicester Birmingham and Balls and stuff so it's nice to know about those places as well as Birmingham so not just about where I'm, I'm from specifically, but the parts around me as well. 
but we were sitting in a room where maybe all the mayors would have gathered. We just had different portraits of different mayors in the room. So it felt like we were part of their meeting, although we weren't really, but it felt like that. <laughs> we felt very important, let's put it that way. A lot more confidence talking to people. Yeah, I have a big issue with like socialising and sort of the fear of meeting new people and like being judged and coming to this like we met online before just for a quick meeting and like a little quick catch up but you can never really know until you actually meet that person until like you can decide like whether you like them or not and I was very happy because you know we nobody had issues with anyone everything was really calm and really good and it was just positive vibes which I, I definitely needed that so it definitely gave me a lot more confidence to talk to people back home I'd like to go back there again I quite like the marketplace and being able to wander around because it's quite nice and scenic especially up and down like the canal it's it was really nice I, I would very much do it again just need to find time to do it it's the only thing